There's a lot of people out there who have pretty much driven a nail in Bryce Young's coffin and his potential. They're saying Bryce Young was obviously not the better selection over C.J. Stroud. For obvious reasons, Bryce Young is coming off of a horrid season. But you have to ask yourself, how much of it is where you land versus what you're actually capable of? And I think this is a situation in which C.J. Stroud, super talented, uber talented, found himself in a situation with the Houston Texans which, with much more stable coaching, much more stable management group. And it's crazy to say you think about the Bill O'Brien-led Houston Texans. But Demeco Ryan's in the job that he did with Bobby Slowick to get the most out of C.J. Stroud, man, I feel like that should not go unnoticed. It was fantastic. You talk about a coaching staff that was willing to adapt and do what they have to do to make sure they play towards their quarterback's strengths. That's what they did. And I love that. Demeco Ryans allowed Bobby Slowick to run the offense, but this isn't about CJ Stroud. This is about Bryce Young. Bryce Young came into a tumultuous situation in terms of you have an owner who, let's face it, he gets pretty agitated, right? He gets agitated pretty quickly. He's a, a guy that's quick to pull the trigger. This is a guy in Bryce Young you guys drafted with the first overall pick, but yet and still you waited to name him as the starter. Andy Dalton saw time. So then you have to go through that entire regrouping phase where the wide receiving core, the players have to get used to new cadence. All that stuff is real. That is why you drill down all of it in the preseason, in training camp, to make sure that when you hit, when the season starts, you guys are able to hit the ground running. Bryce Young never had a chance. Bryce Young never had a chance. The offensive line was suspect as well. But... Bryce Young never had a chance, which brings me to the new head coach of the Carolina Panthers. If he's given the proper time to, you know, build his own system and build his own regime, if you will, I think Dave Canales can get more out of Bryce Young. So I do expect Bryce Young to improve. Why? I, because we saw what Dave Canales was able to do with a Baker Mayfield who was finally settled into a home in the NFL with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, a lot of people speak about Dave Canales and say he's one of the best bright young minds. And I feel like there was a hire that came out of nowhere for a lot of people because he's not a guy that you saw hot in the head coaching circle, if you will. But, you know, letting all the anger die down and people being fake upset die down, you get down to it. And people say Dave Canales is a good coach and he's expected to be able to do the exact same thing Bobby Slowick in the Houston Texans staff was able to do for C.J. Stroud, but for Bryce Young, and that's play to his streams, get the most out of him. I do think Bryce Young has multiple levels to get to. I would not throw the towel in on Bryce Young just yet. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Are you believers in Bryce Young? Do you think Bryce Young can be the franchise quarterback of the Carolina Panthers? Go down in the comment section. If you like more video content like this, give this video a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss when we go live or upload content from the First Star Logistics Studio.